cooking a lot ever since this pandemic hit and the other day I realized what's been missing from my dishes flavor do you guys ever like go out for a run come back and just feel tilted after like you worked out so hard that you got sick the other day I went vegetarian for six hours between lunch and dinner anyways Welcome back to the channel. Oh my goodness, it feels so long since I posted my last video. It's been like three, four weeks, I think, since I last uploaded a video. And the reason why I haven't uploaded recently is because it's been hot and I don't do anything when it's hot. My brain only functions at max 86.5 degrees Fahrenheit anything above that and it's a netflix kind of day no but actually seriously i i kid but it's just so hot that i can't hear myself think like when i do think i just can't hear myself like like have i mentioned yet that it's just so hot it's it's like hot here anyways this video has been a long time coming this is probably my most asked question I feel like I've gotten some emails that asked me this question. So I've been actually thinking about making this video for a long time and well, here we are. So my most asked question is, what is my skincare routine? LMAO, just kidding. Literally no one has asked me that. But while we're on the topic, uh, just in case you're curious, I follow a one-step skincare routine. It's wash my face. All jokes aside, because we're here for some real content. The most asked question I've gotten is, wait for it. What is the difference between bioengineering and biomedical engineering, if there even is one? And the answer to that question is, it doesn't matter. But because that's not enough content for a full YouTube video, let's go into the differences. So before we dive into this video, I just want to say that there are differences. They aren't the same term. It's just that these differences aren't that important. In fact, I was able to go through an entire degree, graduate, and not even know the differences. In fact, I think before I entered my undergrad, I did research the differences, but I didn't care at the time or what I read just didn't make sense. So hopefully what I say in this video makes sense to you. Let me know if you still have questions after this video. So they are different, but what they both have in common is that they both tell you that you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. Oh my God. I miss saying that. It's been so long since I've said that. Three weeks. I need to post more often. I have trolling withdrawal. So if you can't tell, I was joking in that last part. But the major difference between bioengineering and biomedical engineering manifests itself in the names themselves. So biomedical engineering, it has that term medical in it. So biomedical engineering focuses more on the medical or healthcare aspect of bioengineering. So you can think of biomedical engineering as a more specialized or subset of bioengineering. I think of bioengineering as the umbrella term. It's more broad. While it does cover the medical and healthcare aspects that BME covers, it also covers aspects that aren't related to the medical field or healthcare aspects. If you look at the meaning that manifests itself in the name bioengineering, bioengineering is basically the sum of biology and engineering. Biology is the study of life. This doesn't encompass just healthcare. Life involves things that aren't related to human biology. That could be plants, fungi, photosynthesis, other living things. Despite what humans may think, not everything revolves around us. So some examples within bioengineering of study that aren't related to human biology could be agricultural engineering. I've heard about this. So Berkeley doesn't offer agricultural engineering, but I've heard about this. So I'm assuming that's related to agriculture biofuels that's a thing you can think of this as analogous to a menu at mcdonald's imagine the menu at mcdonald's as all of the engineering majors now imagine bioengineering as the chicken nugget section you can get how much how much are the chicken nuggets at mcdonald's okay bioengineering is like the 50 mcnugget chicken mcnugget deal at mcdonald's for $10 so you can get 50 chicken mcnuggets for $10 at mcdonald's wow that's a pretty good deal so imagine bioengineering as the 50 chicken McNuggets, whereas biomedical engineering is like the 20 chicken McNuggets for $6 deal. Biomedical engineering, because it encompasses less chicken McNuggets, it covers 20, whereas bioengineering covers 50 chicken McNuggets, 
biomedical engineering is like the subset category of bioengineering. Okay, this is like the worst analogy ever. Think of it this way. Think of bioengineering as like the McFlurry section at McDonald's. There's so many different types of McFlurries, right? You can get Oreo McFlurry, you can get M&M McFlurry, you can get Shamrock McFlurry on certain season deals. If bioengineering is like the McFlurry section at McDonald's, then think of biomedical engineering as like the M&M McFlurry. It's a specific type of McFlurry. Much like biomedical engineering is a specific type of bioengineering, M&M McFlurry is a specific type of McFlurry. <laughs> Some examples that you could work on within biomedical engineering could be prosthetics, pacemakers, medical and surgical tools. So you'd be working and developing tools that will eventually have direct impact on other people's lives. I'd imagine you'd have to know quite a bit on mechanical engineering and electrical engineering to do this type of work. Now, much like there's several different types of M&Ms that you can have in your McFlurry, like you could have peanut M&Ms, you could have dark chocolate M&Ms. There's disciplines within biomedical engineering itself. Some of those include bioinstrumentation, biomechatronics, medical imaging, systems physiology, bioinformatics, neural engineering. There's a lot out there. You could probably just Google it and a bunch of stuff will come up. I've been craving boba a lot these days, but you know, I'm, I'm scared to go out and risk my life and get coronavirus just for some chewy balls so now a follow-up question would probably be if they are different do schools offer both bme and be or do they offer only one of the two and i'd say that the answer to this question is probably pretty school dependent because the curriculum varies so much across schools and from my experience i know that berkeley only offers one so berkeley only offers bioengineering so i would recommend to look into the concentrations offered at your particular school if you are interested in this medical or healthcare aspect you can pick which concentration is more tailored to that interest other than looking at the concentrations offered at your school i think it's also pretty important to look into the classes and the curriculum in each of the tracks look into the classes what they teach what they offer and ask yourself are you interested in learning about these things over the next four years or less than four years if you're already there so interestingly besides like the difference question between bme and be i've also gotten some comments or emails saying that they're really interested in bioengineering they think it's fascinating they want to pursue it but the problem is that they're afraid of pursuing it. And I just wanted to say this in this video that don't be afraid. If you truly want something, you shouldn't be afraid to go after it and work hard. If you think too much, you'll just scare yourself out of everything. Being afraid is not an option. It's just an excuse. Choose not to do bioengineering, not because you're afraid, but because you just don't think it's right for you. I mean, I get it. It makes sense that you're putting a lot of time and consideration into what major you're about to pick, or is there a job prospect after, which I can make a video on. But ultimately, choosing a major in college is not chaining yourself down. You always have the option to change out of it if you decide you don't like it. Remember that you're allowed to change your mind and adapt to certain circumstances. So if you're passionate about it, you're curious, go for it. But always be cognizant and keep your mind open to other opportunities or possibilities that may be more suitable to you. And I just wanted to say as a side note that I'm not saying undergrad is irrelevant per se, or what you major in undergrad is irrelevant. But your undergrad is definitely just the beginning. You're probably gonna pursue some form of higher education at some point anyways, if you are interested in bioengineering or any STEM field. All undergrad does is build the platform and the work ethic. 95% of undergrads are just shooting in the dark anyways with their majors and discovering what they're interested in. So what you major in undergrad isn't irrelevant. It's just not as important or critical or life-threatening as you think it is. What's more important are the skills that you build for yourself, the habits you develop, and the mindset that you create for yourself. Anyways, if you blacked out over the past, I don't know, X amount of minutes, I've been blabbing. Ultimately, nobody really follows these strict guidelines or definitions between biomedical engineering and bioengineering, and they're often used interchangeably. Both are multidisciplinary, both draw on multiple fields, probably spanning biology, chemistry, math, physics. It all just comes down to the kind of impact you want to have 
And frankly, all of these impacts are important. All that matters is what impact is personal to you. Do you want to have impact on the biofuels industry? Do you want to have impact on the medical device, healthcare industry? Do you want to make plants grow better and faster with agriculture? So the real answer is the definition of bioengineering ultimately comes down to you. What do you want to define bioengineering as? You need to define what bioengineering means to you. And when you converse with other people, it's important to convey that definition that you created to others, right? So when you talk to say another bioengineer and you tell them, I'm majoring in bioengineering, I'm super into bioengineering, it would be great to follow that up with what specific field within bioengineering is important to you so that other person can understand your background and story. You can say, hey, my name is X, I'm majoring in bioengineering, but more specifically, I'm super fascinated in bioinformatics, bridging the fields of computation and biology. More specific, I'm super interested in looking how technology and computer science can predict RNA folding. Or by providing that definition for them, in their mind, they've excluded that other 75% of bioengineering that you're probably not a part of. These are dynamic fields that are constantly making progress each day. Every day, there's someone out there in the world saying, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and make some sort of change in the field of bioengineering. So like all terms or labels, these terms, bioengineering, biomedical engineering, whatever you wanna call it, they're fluid and they're always subject to change. I mean, if you look at computer science, I'm sure the definition of computer science 10, 20, 30 years ago is a little bit different than the definition of computer science today. Companies even, what was Google's worth, I don't know, when it was created 10, I don't know actually when it was 30 years ago versus now. I'm sure the weight that Google carries has much different meaning back then than it is today. Like if you think about it, it's, it's interesting to think about what will be the definition of bioengineering 10, 20, 30 years from today? What role does bioengineering play within society today versus the future of tomorrow. I mean, look at the way coronavirus has transformed this world. Before coronavirus, sure, there was an emphasis on pharmaceuticals, drug discovery, vaccine development, but how much has our perception of vaccine development changed ever since coronavirus hit? I mean, what's going to play a huge role in solving coronavirus? Coming up with the creative and novel solution that we didn't have before. And the definition of engineering is using creativity and the tools we have to build novel solutions. And when you combine biology with engineering, bioengineering is going to play a huge role in the solution or at least some sort of resolution for coronavirus. The world is constantly changing and we have to accept that the labels that we create for certain things Will change right along with it. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. I think this video is going to be super short, but whatever. How are you doing? Let me know in the comment section below how you're doing. Stay safe, stay edgy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Support my dream to become a rising YouTube star, and I'll see you in the next video. What's my next video be about? My next video is coming soon.